All right, guys, welcome back. Long time no see. Uh, what we're going to tie today, this is a glass minnow uh, for fish in the surf. What we're tying on today, this is a Gamakatsu SC15 in a one aught. What we're tying with today, this is 9 thousandths mono fill. Um, we'll be using uh, Primo Polar and we'll be using some SF Blend in Pearl. Let's get started. We're going to come in, get our wrap started. We're going to cover all this up so it really won't matter. Um, where you started at. We're going to come in with our first set of polar fiber. Uh, this is going to help silhouette our body material. Uh, we're going to make this about one and a half hook shanks right there. Come in, get a good pinch and loop. And kind of let that roll around the shank of the hook. Take some securing wraps. Now what we're gonna come in this is what we're going to use to taper our tail. I've used uh, three strands of blue uh, holographic. I've used three strands of pearl, and I've used six strands of lateral scale. Uh, you don't have to use these. You can mix and match whatever you want to do. Uh, this is something that, that's just a preference. What I like to do is get them wet so they all stick together. This will help. We're going to take all those, we're going to fold them together, and we're just going to cut them in half, and then we're going to cut them in half one more time. This is a smaller fly, so uh, we won't need all of it, or the full length anyway, but we are going to use all of it. We want this thing to sparkle in the water. Once you get all those, I'm just going to kind of fan the tails out there, and then we're just going to pull the ends, that way there's no square edges. We want them to be tapered. Now this piece right here, uh, we're gonna make it just slightly longer than this piece of the tail. Pinch and loop, another one. Take a look at it. I'm gonna come in and clean these out a little bit longer. I'm gonna hold them in place. Nice tight wraps to the front. And that's almost all of that piece. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back in with that, uh, that Mirage Blue. We're gonna take about four to six strands. That's what we're gonna use our body. Catch it in on the side. Secure that down. And then we're just gonna take wraps to the front. You can super glue this down if you need to. Um, I've not had any trouble with it coming apart or anything. We're just gonna kind of build this up. Give us a nice taper. Catch those in. Gonna fold them back on themselves. Come in and get rid of that. Now we're gonna come in with a small bunch of SF blend. Right, like I said, this is in pearl. Don't need a whole lot. This is, should be enough to build your under and over wing. So we're gonna double that. We're gonna cut it and double it again. And just like the tinsel for the, the flash in the tail, we're gonna pull those and start getting our teardrop. So we want this to be slightly longer than this section of the tail. You're gonna take a look at it. it, looks pretty good like there. 
And then come in and clean these up. Set those right there on the top. Nice secure wraps. I'm gonna roll it over. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. We don't need as much this time. Uh, the bottom is gonna be a little shorter. We're gonna come probably about halfway into the tail there. We'll come in and measure. Looks pretty good. Put that right there, tie that in. Here my dog's running by. Come in and clean those out nice and close. Rotate that over. A couple more securing wraps. And this is gonna start to make our teardrop. We're gonna come in with another clump. This one's slightly thicker and fuller of our polar fibers. You're gonna stack these up in your hand and pull all those shorts out. Once again, no square edges. We want this to taper into nothing. Then we're gonna get them loose there. We're gonna come in right over the top and it's gonna be just slightly longer than everything else we've tied. I'm gonna look at it. Pinch it off. Come in and clean this stuff out so we get a nice tight head here. Pinch and loop. Pinch and loop. Let it go, take a look at it. Now when this gets wet, all this is gonna come together to make a nice teardrop. You don't have to fish this strictly for salt water. You can fish these in a bunch of different colors uh, for bass, for striped bass. Uh, I tend to tie it in several different colors just so I've got an option. Um, take a couple whips here. Clean that up. Come in with some super glue. You don't have to put eyes on this. I just, I always have. I think it makes the fly look a lot better. Don't take a whole lot. Once that's set in there, I'm gonna come in with some resin, the flow first. It's gonna help hold those eyes there until that super glue sets up. We're gonna come underneath, do the same thing. This will also help hold that head together for you. This fly's gonna take a lot of abuse. We're gonna come in with our thick now and start building the head. Fill in that gap. Again, across the bottom, same thing. back in with our thin. We're gonna put a drop of this right on the eye and let it 
roll over to the stuff that we've put on the bottom and the top. So help lock those eyes in. I'll spin it so it don't get away from us until we can get it set. And that right there, that's my glass minnow. Hope you guys enjoy this pattern. Uh, tie some up in a bunch of different colors, try them out. They're going to take fish, uh, whether you're fishing off the coast or if you're fishing up in uh, the mountains for trout or, you know, late for stroppers or regular bass. Uh, it's a very productive fly. Hopefully you guys enjoy this fly pattern. Uh, go check us out over on Facebook. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time.